Okay, welcome to another Maxi Shine video. You can see here I've changed my desk. Now, I haven't done a video in a long time, but the GDX 480 is on order. They should be here on the 14th. So I've got three of them in tri So I thought I'd give you a quick video of another thing that I just picked up. I'm sure some of you will be excited to see that. It is a 980X. Oh yeah, baby. 6 core extreme edition CPU. Check this little baby out. Don't you just love it? I was so excited when I bought this today. I swear it's been ages since I've been this excited. When I picked it up and I just read 6 core extreme desktop, I'm going, oh my god. Just want to get that in and rip a few benchmarks. Just a quick look for um, people who don't know what sort of system I'm running. That's the MaxiShine main gaming computer. That has a EVGA classified x58 motherboard with an i7-920 running at 4 gigahertz with um, you can see there custom water cooling in the front with a triple thermo chill 120.3 radiator at the front. Got a 5970 at the moment in there and uh, Dominator GT 2000 megahertz memory that's custom a bit of custom mods done to that case you can see if you can go back and go through the videos you'll see it two 30 inch monitors I've opted for two not three which is a bit too much for gaming and um, of course the newest addition to the Maxi Shine family oh don't you just love it going to go ahead and open the box. First video is just going to be a quick look. Opening up of the box. The exciting bit for me at least. And followed up with um, as usual with some side-by-side -side videos. I'm going to run it against. Wow that is massive. <laughs> Sorry. I'm going to run it against the um, i7-920. I'm going to run them both at 4 gigahertz just to try to get an idea of how much extra cores help. Wow! Oh my lord! Well, first of all, this is very unusual. Look at the way they've packaged that separately. $1,349 Australian. Of course, by um, Scorpion Technology. They've knocked it down by 450 bucks for me. And this was actually a surprise. There you go, you get some thermal compound. Looks like um, good quality stuff. Check this out. That's the stock heatsink and fan. That has to be the most extreme stock heatsink and fan for a CPU I've ever seen. And I've had about five different extreme edition CPUs. Now that, although not the prettiest, is impressive. Check that out. That is the stock heatsink and fan for the new 6 core Extreme Edition CPU. Let's just get a few angles of that. That's gorgeous, isn't it? Pretty sure that lights up as well. Too bad I'm not going to be using this, but I can use it on my um, other i7 motherboard, which has a stock cooler. I'd love to stick that onto it. Check it out. That's beautiful. You can see the um, copper heat pipes there. Get that into focus. Awesome stuff, huh? Can't wait to whack that in and have a good look at it. Okay, just back to the, the CPU now. I'm not sure if you can see that. Standard looking thing, no thicker than uh, your standard i7, 920 or anything like that. 3.33 gigahertz, and of course six cores, 12 threads. Um, I'm sure a lot of you already know. It's not going to be faster, like clock for clock for gaming or anything like that. It's going to be exactly the same probably for games maybe a few percentage you know performance increase or something like that 
But generally for um, encoding and things like that, that's where I'm going to be doing the benchmarks. I think there's going to be a big advantage, especially for um, programs that are, have multi-thread support. That's the two um, beasts there sitting next to each other. But of course we're only putting in the um, 980X. The i7-920 on the left, the 980X 6 core on the right. Just to give you an idea of the difference. Obviously size is still the same, you can see a lot different on the inside. So look at the outer side. Identical there. Very little um, difference. Now we're just about ready to stick it into the Maxi Shine Extreme Gaming PC. You can see there at the top. Motherboard's ready to accept the new um, beast of a thing. And here we have the um, boot screen there showing the X980 at 3.33 gigahertz. I'm not overclocking it yet. Um, just a warning to people with EVGA classified, you do have to update your BIOS, which is pretty easy. Just go to the website. Um, you burn the ISO to a disk and just boot from the disk and the rest is um, automatic. So I've done that. At the start it was just giving me an error code 68. So at the moment it's um, waiting. Just press F1 to continue. So I'll just go ahead and do that. I got a bit worried at the start. I'm thinking, oh no. Do I have to return this thing? But no, finally got it working. So all's cool. Here we've got Task Manager open. You can see 12 threads, man. Check that out. And hopefully um, when the SR2 EVGA comes, becomes available in Oz, I'll be running two of these hopefully. So this time around, I'm going to go for the full house on my system. So stay tuned for that.